Okay, so um, the last thing I wanted to talk about, uh, we talked about the for loop and the uh, while loop, um, is what's called a procedure, or sometimes um, you see this called a function, which might make more sense with the mathematical ideas that we've talked about. Um, uh, it should be just function. Well, my pen isn't wanting to cooperate. Function, let's try that again. Function, procedure or function. Uh, and the name of the procedure is max, so usually you name it um, after whatever it is it does. And um, so, you know, this is just a, a function or a procedure. Uh, is just a specific set of lines of code that have a, um, a specific uh, purpose. Uh, the purpose in this case is to find the maximum of three numbers. So <clears throat> um, you can see that the function starts with the brace here that opens and ends here with the brace that close. And we just read the lines of code um, top to bottom like normal. Now one thing that's a little bit different with a function or a procedure is how you call the function. Right? So you, you call it by its name. Right? So the, the idea is this. I might be, you know, I might be writing some, some code, so I have some lines of code, and I get to a place where I need to find the maximum of the numbers 4, 7, and 2. So I would I would type in to my code max 4, 7, and 2. Right? And the idea is that this is going to calculate that maximum for me and return, should return the number 7. Right? And then I could go on with my other lines of code. Right? So this procedure would be stored somewhere else or, or maybe written somewhere else. And I can call it whenever I I need it. So I don't have to write these lines of code over and over and over again. I just call that procedure that I've already written. So let's just go through and verify that, that this works. Um, right, so A is 4, B is 7, and C is 2. Right, so that's that's indicated when you write the procedure I'm gonna allow three numbers to come into my procedure so right when we start off X is gonna get in <clears throat> one reason I stopped that last video is to make sure I had this uh, stupid assignment uh, symbol written correctly which I did get it written correctly this time X gets assigned Four, the value of a. Okay, then I say if if b, which is seven, if b is greater than x, which is now four, which it is, that's true. Then we're going to execute this line of code, which says now x, it's going to get reassigned. X gets assigned the value of b, which is seven. Okay, then we've got another if statement. If C, which is 2, if 2 is greater than x, which is now 7, that's not true. 2 is not greater than 7, so we don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. And then, and then this line just specifies that the value we return is whatever x has been assigned, and the most recent assignment is 7. So what that means is that what's going to come out of this procedure is the number seven, which is what we were hoping for. Right, so that's an idea that is um, very useful, where right? you can write some procedure, and then wherever you're at in your code writing, you can call that procedure and save yourself a little time that way. So those are the, I think those are the four main um, ideas in pseudocode. Mostly, for sure, be sure that you're comfortable with if statements and um, a for loop probably is used a little bit more than a, a while loop. Again, we're not going to get into coding 
a ton in this class, but understanding the for loop, um, at least the for loop, would be helpful. So hopefully that uh, hopefully that makes some sense and gives you an idea of what's going on with pseudocode.